What's going on, everybody out there in the stand world, Twitter world, Facebook world, Instagram world, wherever this video winds up. Look, I'm going to go ahead and warn you right now. If you don't like cussing, don't watch this video. If you a fan of Remy Ma, I would not advise you to watch this video because I'm about to go in on this bitch. Now, first of all, I got, I'm got i going to get her because, one number one, I don't understand why she's still sitting up here talking about Nikki. Why would you bring up Nicki Minaj's brother in this? What does he got to do with this? You know, first of all, your raps have not been the same since you came home. You, girl, you only had one hit, and it really wasn't a hit. It was just a summer anthem. You know, so what are you talking about? You try to release that little single with Little Kim, Put Me to Sleep. That didn't happen. You know, you keep trying to make it happen. The best thing you to do to stay on Love & Hip Hop and be a Love & Hip Hop star. It's not happening for you, girl. You're not that it, girl. You don't have what it takes to be that girl. It's just not going to happen for you. You're a hood-ass bitch. And then you want to sit up here and talk about Nicki Minaj's brother like she has a dick. That bitch don't have no motherfucking dick, bitch. She don't. She don't have a dick. So, her brother, I'm confused because her brother is in prison. You went to prison. So, you, you should team up with him. You know, even though he's a child molester, you're a murderer. Basically, you were trying to kill that girl. You're basically a murderer. So, what are you talking about? You're pretty much a murderer, girl. Yeah, we know you You, you from Queens. Or, you not from Queens. Wherever the fuck you from. I forget Castle Hill, New Jersey or wherever. It don't matter where the fuck you from. It's irrelevant at this point because nobody even gives a fuck about you. Or your little tie-ass, laid-back lace fronts that you be wearing looking like a fucking man. You're masculine as fuck. The only thing we really like about you is your fucking husband because nobody really gives a fuck about you. You tie through and delay. And, you know, this little thing you got going on with Azalea Banks, I don't know what's going on with that. But thank you for that because you opened up my eyes to see that Azalea Banks is actually smart. And she read the motherfucking eyeballs out your fucking head that night when you try to come for her. But this thing... Whatever you got going on with Azalea Banks, why you you, you you act like you want women's empowerment, but you really don't. Then you try to say, oh, yeah, I'm all for women in a rap game or whatever, but this is a bitch. What do you mean? And then let's get on the motherfucking text messages that you try to act like you didn't respond to and she was just talking to herself. Bitch, bye. You did I know about that. You can go back and delete motherfucking text messages. Don't try to act like she was in there talking to herself and you only responded when she said something about Nikki. Bitch, cut the fucking bullshit. You full of motherfucking shit and you know you are. It's not happening for you. Where's your album, girl? You've been working on this album ever since you came ever since you came home and you got on Love and Hip Hop. Where's your fucking album? We tired of hearing diss tracks from you. We tired of seeing you going off on the internet all the time. Where, where the fuck is your fucking music? We tired of the subliminals, the Nikki, the subliminals, the everybody else. And let's take it back even further to when you said, oh, Nikki started this beef. How did Nikki start the beef? To me, and I'm a big fan of Nikki Minaj, but let's just be honest. Both of y'all were taking shots at each other. You started going on the radio, doing your little freestyles. She gave you what you wanted. She responded back. And then when she did not make love, it was finally official that she was talking about you. Then you wanted to make tired ass Sheetha, which you, you can't even, you don't ride a beat. You sound like, huh, huh, you out of breath, bitch. You know, I'm just sick of you. I, I'm, I'm tired of you sending subliminals, sending subliminals to Nikki. You started this little beef with Azalea Banks for what I don't know or whatever happened with that. You know, it seems like to me, you realize now that you only going to be in the media as if you start shit with somebody. And this time... People might have been on your side for Sheetha for about three three weeks or whatever. But people are really not on your side this time, Remy Ma, because you know, you whack as fuck. You be talking about you be talking out the side of your motherfucking head. For what reason? I have no clue. Like, get Papoose to write you a motherfucking head. No. Don't get Papoose. Call Kaya to write you a motherfucking hit. And since you want to respond back to everybody, Kaya was on the on YouTube talking about your husband. And y'all, you are Kim, have yet to respond to her. She talked shit about you and Kim. Y'all have yet to respond to her. What? She'll give you what you want. 
Azalea's team told her not to respond back to you because you a whack ass bitch. Kaya don't have no motherfucking team. Respond back to Kaya, bitch. That's what we want. Since y'all do everything for the culture, so y'all claim, oh yeah, we did it for the culture. Fuck that bullshit. Get respond to Kaya. Get Kaya what she wants. She'll give you what you want. If you want a real rap beef, go go back and forth with Kaya, you whack ass bitch. <sighs> I'm not mad, y'all. I'm just saying. I'm just roasting this bitch. I'm not upset because I really don't give a fuck about this bitch. But, you know, I have been looking at the shit with Azalea and all this shit. And she was trying to say, like, Azalea was lying or whatever. I don't think the girl was lying because, first of all, how can you... You can't really say somebody is lying for something they already apologized for. She told Nikki that she was basically talking to shit about, shit about her. We know as we know who Azalea is. We know what Azalea does. Azalea talks shit. That's what she does. She speaks her opinion, and I fucking love it. I'm here for it. So, you know, I, I just don't understand how you keep coming out of the left field trying to start shit. You know, earlier this year, it was Nikki. So, I guess at the end of the year, you had to start some shit with Azalea Banks. And I hope you don't make a fucking diss track to this girl, because she will slaughter your ass. Slaughter you. Slaughter you. She will end you, bitch. Well, you already in it because your career's not popping. But, you know, I don't care about you being on Love and Hip Hop. I haven't liked anything you came out with since you've been home. You know, people only know you for conceited. It's not like, I mean, All the Way Up might be played in the summertime, but that's about it. It's not really a hit. You know, it's not like Little Kim's to jump off or whatever. You know, you you just uh you make shit up off the top of your head. You deleted those text messages. You tied through and delayed. I'm sick of you, bitch. I am sick of you. Drop your fucking album so we can hear bars. And if you ain't spit no bars on the on, on the fucking album, keep the bullshit. Cause that what what, what was it called? Platoma Platoma. That shit was weak as fuck. It was weak as fuck with you and Fat Joe. And just like Azalea Banks said. That was about Fat Joe. It wasn't about you because nobody really gives a fuck about you but the hood. And the hood really don't even represent you. You are n- you don't open up doors. The only doors you open up is for hood ass bitches. And there's nothing wrong with hood bitches. I'm just saying. Don't try to act like you the queen of rap because you not. You not about to knock Nikki off her spot. You not about to knock uh, Azalea Banks off her spot. And you not about to stop Cardi B. You not about to stop anybody. So cut the bullshit. Stop. Bye.